Hello and welcome back to the Master Civil Engineering. In this video, we will learn how to find the consolidation settlement under the center of the footing. As you might be already knowing how to find the average settlement under the footing. In this video, we will learn how to find the settlement exactly at the center of the footing. The question is given and it states that a site originally consists of 3 meter deposit of saturated clay overlying bedrock. A 1 meter thick fill will be constructed and use it to support a 2 meter cross 2 meter square footing. Calculate the ultimate consolidation settlement of the clay if the footing supports a 1000 kN load. Base your calculations on the initial and final stress at the midpoint of the clay layer under the center of the footing. Properties of the clay layer are as, as follows. Compression index is equal to 0 0.4. Recompression index is equal to 0 0.08. Preconsolidation pressure is equal to 50 kilopascal. Water content is equal to 0 0.4. And specific gravity of solid is equal to 2.7. First, we will find the initial effective stress at mid depth of clay, that is 1.5 meter from the original ground surface, and is given by sigma i prime is equal to gamma saturated minus gamma w into 1.5 which is equal to 15 minus 9.81 into 1.5 which is equal to 7.8 kilopascal stress increase due to fill is given as unit weight of fill into depth of fill which is equal to 18 into 1 which is equal to 18 kilopascal stress increase at the base of the footing is given as q is equal to p divided by b into l where p is the load acting on the footing and b and l are the width and length of the footing putting values we get 1000 divided by 2 into 2 which is equal to 250 kilopascal this is the stress increase at the base of the footing since we have to find the stress increase at the mid depth of the clay exactly under the center of the footing we will proceed as First, distance of footing base to the mid depth of clay is equal to z is equal to 2.5 meter. Now the footing is divided into four squares of size 1 meter cross 1 meter and each of these squares share a corner at O. So we will find the stress increase at z is equal to 2.5 meter due to this 1 meter cross 1 meter square footing at the corner O. For this 1 meter cross 1 meter footing, we have A is equal to 1 meter and B is equal to 1 meter and Z is equal to 2.5 meter. M is equal to A by Z which is equal to 1 divided by 2.5 which is equal to 0 0.4 and N is equal to P divided by Z which is also equal to 1 divided by 2.5 which is equal to 0 0.4. Now we will use the table to find the influence coefficient you can see the figure shows the table for influence coefficients for points under uniformly loaded rectangular areas the value of m and n are given in vertical and horizontal rows so for m is equal to 0 0.4 and n is equal to 0 0.4 we can see from the table the value of i is equal to 0 0.060 so influence coefficient is equal to i is equal to 0 0.060 because our footing consists of four smaller equal areas of one meter by one meter and each of these four areas share a corner at point o so stress increase at corner o due to these four areas is equal to four into i into q where i is the influence coefficient and q is the stress increase at the base of the footing so we will get the value equal to 4 into 0 0.060 into 250 which is equal to 60 kilopascal. So this is the stress increase at the depth of 2.5 meter due to load acting on the footing. Final effective stress at mid depth of clay is equal to initial effective stress plus stress increase due to fill plus stress increase due to footing which is equal to 7.8 plus 18 plus 60 which is equal to 85.8 kilopascal now preconsolidation stress is given in the question equal to 50 kilopascal 
wide ratio is equal to E is equal to W into GS which is equal to 0 0.4 times 2.7 which is equal to 1.08. Since final effective stress is greater than pre-consolidation stress greater than initial effective stress, so consolidation settlement is given as S is equal to CR into H divided by 1 plus E log of sigma prime P divided by sigma prime I plus CC into H divided by 1 plus E log of sigma prime F divided by, log, divided by sigma prime P. Putting values of different quantities, we get the value of consolidation settlement equal to 0 0.2284 meter, which is equal to 22.84 centimeter. So this gives us the consolidation settlement due to the stress increase due to the fill and the footing under the center of the footing. So this gives us procedure how to find the consolidation settlement exactly at the center of the footing. Hope you guys like this video and if you find this video helpful, please subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.